Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel Aesthetic Ian. My name is Ian Mwangi and today I'm doing a video on going offline for seven days while we're still in quarantine and I'm going to tell you guys how that was for me and the things that I learned from going online for seven days. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. browsing the internet as I am known to do and while I was checking the internet I discovered that there was a bunch of people who talked about how they went offline for a while and I even found some videos about people who went offline completely forever so like they never accessed the internet at all that kind of got me thinking because even before I did that research I was thinking about how I would go offline for a while because a lot of the time I was feeling like too connected to my phone too eager to hear the little beeps for my notifications and I thought that was weird like I felt like maybe I was getting addicted to the internet so I decided to go online do some research and I came up with a challenge that I wanted to do and today's challenge is going seven days without the internet I started on Monday 15th of June so here are a few clips of how I started the challenge and how it went throughout the week challenge today i actually got a lot of writing done in the morning i've also continued with editing i have slept for like two hours just before i shot this video so that was a lot of fun i never realized how much time i had without using my phone that's actually turning out to be interesting i've also done a lot of reading right now i'm reading angels and demons by dan brown which is a continuation to the da vinci code which i read before and so far it's interesting apart from that today was a pretty chill day it's really cold outside so i've been trying to stay indoors a lot and stay warm of course but that's day two hey guys what's up so it's day three of my no internet challenge and it's starting to get really hard so i haven't been on instagram for three days and i am by average on instagram for like three four hours every day so this is starting to feel weird but I've actually gotten more time to appreciate like the screenshots I have so that's something weird that I kind of like now um, I've been able to do some work since like the last time we talked so I was here yesterday at around 5 in the evening so let me just tell you what's happened since yesterday at around 5 so since 5 after I finished recording the video I watched some movies I watched movie 43 which is actually a good movie if you haven't checked it out good movie to watch watched the 70s show finished season 10 of friends which was actually super cool after that I journaled for like two hours after dinner so I discovered uh, some stuff about myself which I hadn't actually thought about I've been thinking a lot because I have the time now I guess because I don't have my phone to distract me I started to think about myself and because the class I had on Monday was about self-awareness if you guys don't know i do a bachelor of arts in counseling psychology in my class on monday we talked about self-awareness so i guess that was still playing in my mind yesterday evening i did some self-awareness some soul searching of a thought and i journaled about that it was really fun it actually felt like i made a kind of breakthrough so that was cool after that i actually just went to bed and that was the end of my tuesday so today it's wednesday right now it's at about 11 30 maybe 12 30 i'm not sure um i'll just confirm that i'll keep i'll put that up here so it's i guess around 12 30 morning today i woke up really early and i went back to bed for like 30 minutes after that i did laundry for like two hours in the morning that actually brought us to like around right now so just before this i was getting ready because right now me and my sister are about to shoot the do white sneakers work with everything video which you can check out by clicking the link right up here let's get to this video and i might add some clips from us shooting the video so that's day three see you guys tomorrow
Hey guys, what's up? So it's Thursday and I just came in from the shop. So I've been working all day. Today was pretty cool. Today is day four of the No Internet Challenge. It's going pretty well so far. And I'm going right now to go and try and get some sleep actually. Maybe I'll watch a movie or something, but it's day four. It's going pretty well. I'm actually getting used to not using the internet on my phone. I have all the apps off right now. I'm reading a book about making sales. So today was pretty fun talking to a bunch of clients and other people at the shop. So that was Thursday. Hey guys, so I just woke up a few minutes ago. It's really early in the morning, it's about 8 a.m. and right now I'm about to go and check on my plants. So right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of checking on the roots of my plants and whether they have like enough space to kind of breathe. <laughs> suffocated by the soil and how heavy it is the plants start to die so my plant guy told me that I need to kind of check on that and make sure that the soil is kind of loose so I'll continue to do that for a few and then I'll water the plants. This morning I showed you guys part of my morning routine. You saw me water my plants and I have three plants. I haven't given them names yet but I guess I'll do that later. After that I went and did my morning workout. After that I took my shower, got ready for work and I left for the shop. And I've been there for most of the day till right now and it's around 4 p.m. in the evening right now and I'll update the rest tomorrow. Hey guys so it's Saturday and today is day six of the challenge as you guys know it's just one day remaining this challenge and i am so glad i did this i feel so much less wired than when i started this challenge because like one of the reasons i decided to do this challenge was because a lot of the time i felt like i was glued to my phone always wanting to see my texts and to kind of check notifications but being off the internet for this week has been cool and super helpful so today is day six and tomorrow is the last day so i'll be doing a longer shoot tomorrow and i'll tell you guys all the other stuff you need to know about this channel that's day six i'll catch you guys tomorrow Right now it's actually a few weeks since I finished the challenge. I finished the challenge on, that was like uh, the 22nd or the 23rd. Uh, so I finished the challenge on Sunday of the week of the 15th of June. And after I finished the challenge, I was actually supposed to record this video and kind of tie the whole thing together. So I was supposed to do a video on Sunday that was going to be the whole thing together. And what I learned from being offline and I would answer a few questions which I'd ask before I started the challenge. So today is when I'm going to be doing that. It's actually two weeks since then. I've been super busy so I haven't been able to shoot this video but here it is. So we're just going to start at the base and then go through all the other stuff that I learned throughout that period. So uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is of course my mental health. I'm just going to analyze like from before when I was using my phone about I think 11 hours a day. I think the highest I had was one time that I used my phone for 12 hours and 43 minutes in a day and that's assuming that I'm up for about 16 hours That means I only had three hours when I was off my phone So the first thing I checked out was my mental health the things I did to kind of check on my mental health while I was offline is first I started journaling so I actually do journal throughout like all the time, but uh, My journaling is not usually that consistent. So I have these two journals. The first one is this one I got this when I graduated from my diploma so yay um, so this journal is my constant journal so this is my regular journal I journal almost every day on this but I do miss some days because I, I don't know I'm not perfect so I did that and I also got this journal I got this journal as a gift from a friend of mine so I got this journal and in this journal I was doing like challenges and kind of some creative writing I did journal a lot and at least I got to put a lot of my thoughts into paper. 
I have this one page on one of my journals where I just wrote all the fears that I had, all the things that I think have been stopping me, the things that have been keeping me down. So I wrote all those things on a page and just by acknowledging that those things were happening, that all those things were things that I felt, I feel like it was more therapeutic. I feel like now I don't have to worry about those things. Not that they went away completely, not that I stopped feeling like that, but the fact that I acknowledged them just made me feel a lot better about it made me feel like I was at least self-conscious and self-aware and knew the things that are my problems. So moving on after journaling, the other thing I did was at least after I went offline and I already said this in one of the journals, I think the Thursday one, that I felt a lot less wired. Uh, so wired here, I kind of mean that before when I was online, when I was online all the time, I felt like when my phone beeps, every time it beeps, I have to go back and check it. That was kind of a feeling that I felt all the time and I felt like I did not want to feel like that anymore. So during this time when I went offline for seven days, I did feel a lot better. I did feel like without the beeps, I could just do things at a slower pace, be more mindful, be more aware of the things that were happening around me. And that made me feel so much better and I think it did good for my mental health. So the next thing I did for my mental health during this time was I tried out meditation. So there's a time I used to meditate for a while. Um, so I did it for a short time when I was still doing my internship. And during that time I did a little meditation but I stopped after a while because I didn't have time. So during this time when I was offline, I tried and go back to meditation and I meditated a few mornings and a few evenings and it was actually very grounding, but I still have the problem that when I try to meditate, I'm unable to stop my thoughts. So that's still a problem that I'm trying to deal with. But I did learn about mindful meditation, which is this practice where you kind of stop when you're doing things like assume you're taking a cup of tea if you were taking a cup of tea to kind of stop kind of slow down and to kind of be mindful of the tea to kind of just look at the tea and then look at kind of the waves of how it moves just to be in the moment for a few minutes feel the taste, to feel the kind of essence of the things around you, to be more mindful. And that has me way more relaxed than I thought it would. Just taking the time to feel the things that I'm doing, to be mindful, to be there is something that did help me a lot and still helps me a lot right now. So if you want to check out more about mindful meditation, just check it out on Google, uh, check it out on YouTube. I might link a video down below or or something about mindful meditation so that's one other thing I did and finally one that was extremely therapeutic for me and that I tried to be the most mindful about is I was watering my plants I know on that was it on Thursday or Friday I did post a video of me watering my plants so I have these tiny plants one of them is actually here I haven't given it a name yet but I'm thinking maybe Bessie Bessie seems like a good feminine name for it and it's kind of sumptuous and natural and that kind of gives me the name okay so we are naming it on youtube now my plant is called bessie so bessie and the other two little plants i watered them every morning diligently i found this board on pinterest at uh, this pin on pinterest about it and it was a weird request but i thought like i had all the time in the world so why not so I watered my plants for the seven days and it felt really good. I'm still doing that till now and it kind of slows things down. It gives your morning a little pattern and I liked that. So those are the things that I did for my mental health. Let's move on to number two. The two things I did during this period was reading and of course you guys know I read a whole lot. So this is actually what I'm reading right now by Dan Brown, the guy who wrote The Da Vinci Code. This is Angels and Demons. It's super good actually. And while we're talking about this, uh, I wanted to show you my bookmark. So I made this, I actually painted this and made this. 
Uh, I'll talk about it later, but this is the book I'm reading, Angels and Demons. I got pretty far in the book. I read a lot. I also did read online. I'm also reading two other books, which are also super interesting. If you want to know what those are, hit me up in the comments down below and I'll be sure to hit you back with what other books I was reading. So I did read a lot, not as much as I thought I would because I was offline, but at least I got to read most times when I would be online and that I thought helped me a lot. Moving on actually, so we won't talk about reading anymore because this video has to be kept a bit short. So next is schoolwork. So I'm actually doing my second semester of my degree in counseling psychology right now and I have I have a lot of schoolwork to do. So right now we're actually studying online, classes online, which is mad weird and apart from just adjusting to that is also a lot of classwork, a lot of cuts and a lot of assignments. So during the time I was offline, I kind of tried to do a lot more tried to go to all my classes i attended every single class so you know ching for me um i attended every single class which was a great experience i actually hadn't done that like before so it was super cool to attend all my classes i also did some school work and i'm also right now doing another smaller course so i also got time to read into that and to do a lot of reading and going through the material that was sent to me so, number four of the things that I tried to focus on during that time was my ideas and creativity in general. So what I was checking on is like I tried to do things that, that would inspire me, things that would make me feel a little more creative. So the things I did first is I appreciated my screenshots and I know I've already talked about this but for real though, like you know normally I never noticed how much I <laughs> depend on outfit inspiration. Like when I wake up every morning the first few things I do is check out like new outfits on Instagram check out what um, style influencers are posting the new outfits new combinations try and find new ways to put my outfits together so I kind of realized that I didn't have that now that I was off the internet so I tried to check on my screenshot so the only actually place I could go the only like island on this sea of <laughs> being like left out in the ocean was that I could go back to my screenshots so I got a chance to check out a lot of my screenshots to kind of go through the outfits again kind of see why I took those screenshots I also have a lot of pictures from the sartorialist.com and I went through those pictures a lot and kind of checked out cool ways to pair outfits mostly for the winter some outfits for the summer and it was super cool I kind of got a new perspective a new appreciation for my screenshots and the other thing Thing I also did was that I painted bookmarks of course so again going back to the bookmark I was showing you so I painted this bookmark and two others one I gave to a friend of mine who um, is a really good customer for my bookstore the alcove which I don't know if I can link it down below but I will put a link down below to my new library online I just started the page a few days ago on Instagram it's called the alcove and I made a couple of bookmarks so I gave one to my friend and I gave one to my sister and I remained with one for myself this is actually the one that turned out not as good as the others but I thought it was pretty cool because that's the sky I guess you can tell and there's like a landscape down there and it's like evening so the Sun is setting so it's red in the sky and there's water right there and reflections of the sky but that was super cool so I made a few bookmarks that was a lot of fun the other thing I also did was was YouTube so I had a lot of videos that I had stacked and I had to go through these videos edit them prepare them and post them after the seven days so I did work on two videos one is the 10 accessories every guy should own if you haven't checked out that video you can check it out by clicking the link that's going to appear right up here and the other video was five ways to style a denim jacket which is actually my favorite video on my YouTube right now I shot it as a vertical video and that was super exciting for me because it was different from my usual videos. Um, you can also check that out by clicking the link that's right up here. That was a lot of fun, at least I got to go through a lot of that. But I still have a lot of videos stacked that I have to edit, including this one now because I'm shooting it. But I did get to do a lot on, on that and at least I got less saturation for YouTube ideas. So I was able to go back to my old lists of YouTube ideas. and. 
yeah, I kind of thought about those more and was able to decide on the ones that I'm going to be doing for the rest of the month and also for August. So you guys look forward to those videos. They're going to be super entertaining. The Doc Martens right here uh, might or might not be in the video, but you guys stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss that. Hey guys, so just before I finish the video, we cannot forget to this week's item of the week and this week's item of the week is the one thing that fulfills my soul in my closet right now and it is my new pair of Dr. Martin combat boots and these kicks are just fire is all I could say is they're just fire this is like the dopest shoe I have ever had so this is the Dr. Martin 1460 the original version I actually got these second hand from a second hand dealer in town and I cannot tell you how much joy it brings me to know I own this shoe so let me just talk a little about the shoe so the Dr. Martin 1460 is the sickest boot <laughs> ever it has this cool yellow lining that's been done here the stitching right there and that is actually signature for the dr martin i love how it mixes the black with the yellow and it also has it right here on the strap and that says air wear and that is hella cool and the other thing that is super cool about the dr martin that i have seen is that it has this air filled sole which is mad cool first of all but also it is super bouncy and super comfortable so i am actually going to be doing a video about the dr martin and the history of the shoe if you uh if you want to check that out i'll actually leave a link up top here after i've dropped the video but stay tuned to my channel to check out the video on the dr martin so that's our item of the week and finally the other thing that kept me super busy during the time when i was offline was a uh, business and of course entrepreneurship so if you guys don't know I am a business person so an entrepreneur I'll call myself an entrepreneur seems more professional I guess so what I did during this time is that me and my family so my mom and my sister we got together and started a company that we wanted to start for the longest time it's called Shilash what we do is that the company sells essential clothing for men so that's everything from your boxers to your vests to your t-shirts, to shirts, to pants, everything that you might need in the sphere of men's clothing, we got it. So just check out the link down below, Shilash. And that's actually took a lot of my time. And of course, my bookstore and library, the alcove, also took quite some time to pay for. I read a lot also during the time about sales, which I guess I already mentioned on the Wednesday video. I read a lot about sales. I spent a lot of time at my shop where I talked to a lot of clients and a lot of different customers, which was a lot of fun. Finally, I am going to be answering questions that I asked from the beginning of the video that I will just answer now at the end of the video just to see how the experience was for me and the kind of things that I think I could do and if I think I might do this again and if it's a good idea for you to try while you're at home during this quarantine so the first question is could I stay offline forever okay for this one I would say no just because I have a lot of businesses that I do run online so I work online for the Shilash store so the essential store and and also for the alcove so I couldn't go offline but also personally I don't think I would go offline mostly during this time because all my friends are just online I can just go and visit someone right now and some of my friends are in different counties so I can most definitely not go and visit them so the only thing I can do is call them and text them and talk to them online um, so I don't think I would be able to go offline forever right now uh, maybe at a different point in my life I would be able to um, the second question question is is the internet an addiction now this was an important question for me when I started this video 
video because there's a video I watched online about this lady who said that the internet was a sort of addiction in that it like when you get likes when you hear about when you hear the beeps on your phone um apparently that kind of triggers the same part in your mind that drugs trigger when you're high so assume you're like drunk so the same part of your brain that is triggered is the same part that is triggered when you get likes so I thought that was weird and kind of scary so I thought that maybe the internet is addictive and right now if you were to ask me after going offline for seven days I would say that the internet is addictive to some extent if we were talking about drugs is it like a hardcore drug like crack or like a cool drug <laughs> like weed I just say it's somewhere in the middle so it's something that the likes could get addictive like for me I did like hearing the buzzes on my phone and to kind of get the notifications and the pings and the likes and that for me was something that was kind of addictive and now having gone online for a while I would say that the internet is addictive to a certain extent and the way to kind of deal with that for me is to kind of go offline sometimes so I tried a little more to schedule when I use my phone um, and also to take some time off after a while like if I've been online for like two months I can take like a week or two weeks offline to just purge myself of all that angst of wanting those likes and wanting those clicks and wanting those little notifications so the internet is kind of addictive watch out for that it might be important okay so finally the last question is could I survive without the internet yes I would say yes <laughs> because um, I think I'm a super resilient person and even though I had a hard time this time going offline for just seven days I do think that I could survive without the internet I would still like eat my meals and just have a normal day still study and stuff like that but going offline completely mostly during this time specifically would be kind of tough is what I would say right now so I could survive without the internet ideally but maybe not during this time specifically so that's the end of my video if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to check out more content from my channel please click that subscribe button below or use that button right at the bottom there if you enjoyed this video specifically click that like button below and hit me up in the comments below to tell me what you think about going offline for seven days and would you do it finally check out all the links that I put in the description below and if you want to get notified every time I drop a new video click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button to get those notifications in your email and to get a notification on your phone every time I drop a new video. So this was a whole lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.